Rachel Roberts, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, has left an enduring mark on the industry. Have you ever come across lesser-known facts or anecdotes about her that piqued your interest? Whether it's her on-screen presence or behind-the-scenes moments, there's more to discover. Perhaps you have a personal story of how Rachel Roberts has inspired or impacted your life. Share your experiences in the comments below. Now, stay tuned as we unveil some surprising, funny, and poignant facts about this classic Hollywood actor. You all want to miss them. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic figure? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. Keep watching for a glimpse into Rachel Roberts' fascinating journey in the world of cinema. In the realm of film and television, Rachel Roberts stands as a noteworthy figure whose impact resonates through the years. Born in 1927, she emerged as a talented actress whose contributions left an indelible mark on the industry. Hailing from Wales, she embarked on her acting journey in the mid-20th century, capturing the attention of audiences with captivating presence on screen. What makes her worth celebrating is not only her skill as an actress, but also the authenticity she brought to her roles. Her ability to portray a range of characters, each with depth and nuance, showcased versatility and skill. Roberts gained widespread recognition for roles in notable films like This Sporting Life and Picnic at Hanging Rock. In an era dominated by various actors, she carved a niche for herself, leaving an enduring legacy in the cinematic landscape. Performances were marked by a unique blend of talent, dedication, and a profound understanding of the craft. Beyond on-screen achievements, her significance extends to influence on aspiring actors and actresses who looked up to her as a trailblazer. The impact went beyond the screen, leaving an enduring impression on the cultural landscape of her time. In conclusion, with compelling performances and authenticity, Rachel Roberts remains a celebrated figure in the history of cinema. Contributions and influence continue to resonate, making her a timeless icon in the world of film and television. Actress Rachel Roberts faced challenging personal relationships and struggles throughout her life. Born in 1927, she navigated a tumultuous journey marked by hardships. Her relationships were often marred by complexity, with instances of strained connections that left a lasting impact on her. In the professional sphere, she grappled with the demanding nature of the entertainment industry. The pressures and uncertainties took a toll on her well-being, contributing to the turbulence in her personal life. Despite her undeniable talent and notable achievements, she faced internal battles that reflected in her interpersonal relationships. One notable struggle was her tumultuous marriage to actor Rex Harrison. The union, known for its intensity, faced challenges that eventually led to a difficult divorce. The repercussions of such personal tribulations were reflected in the emotional depth she brought to her on-screen performances. Her journey was not solely defined by career achievements, but also by the resilience demonstrated in the face of personal turmoil. The delicate balance between the public persona and private struggles created a narrative that resonates with many who have faced their own intricate challenges. In retrospect, Rachel Roberts' life serves as a poignant reminder of the intricate intersection between personal battles and public life. The struggles, though deeply personal, became part of her legacy, underscoring the human experience of navigating difficult relationships and the inherent struggles of existence. No Bells on Sunday, a posthumously published biography memoir edited by British film critic Alexander Walker, sheds light on the final three years of her life through the actress's journal entries. Her unexpected marriage to Rex Harrison, a fervent Tory, raised eyebrows among friends given her dedication to socialism. Prior to this, Miss Roberts and her first husband, Alan Doby, ended their five-year marriage in 1960. These details offer a glimpse into the personal and political dimensions of her life. The pages of No Bells on Sunday provide an intimate look at her thoughts during the concluding years. The surprising union with Rex Harrison, a stark contrast in political ideologies, adds an intriguing layer to her personal narrative. Meanwhile, the dissolution of her first marriage to Alan Doby in 1960 marks a significant chapter in her personal history. The biography memoir captures these facets, offering readers a nuanced understanding of the actress beyond her on-screen roles. In exploring Rachel Roberts' life, the complexities of her relationships and political affiliations become apparent. 
The unexpected turns in her personal life, as documented in the biography memoir, offer valuable insights into the actress's character. The contrast between her socialist convictions and her marriage to a Tory adds depth to her story. The dissolution of her first marriage further unveils the intricacies of her personal journey. These aspects, as revealed in No Bells on Sunday, contribute to a comprehensive understanding of Rachel Roberts beyond the roles she portrayed on screen. Gravely voiced actress Rachel Roberts made a notable mark in the 1950s, initially showcasing her talents in musical roles on stage. Productions such as Talk of the Night, The Buccaneer, Oh My Papa, and Maggie May highlighted her early career diversity before transitioning into a focus on dramatic performances. In 1974, she earned a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress due to compelling performances with the new Phoenix Repertory Company on Broadway. This recognition underscored her proficiency and impact in the world of theater. It's worth noting that her roots were firmly planted in a familial setting as her father served as a clergyman. This background potentially shaped aspects of her character and career choices. From dynamic musical beginnings to Broadway acclaim and familial ties, Rachel Roberts' journey reflects a trajectory marked by versatility and depth. These facets, intertwined with her gravelly voice and dramatic prowess, paint a compelling portrait of an actress who left a lasting impression in the entertainment industry. Debuting as series in Twelfth Night alongside Sir Michael Redgrave in 1951, Rachel Roberts left an indelible mark on the old Vic Company stages in 1954 and 1955. Her performances included Shakespearean classics like Macbeth, Love's Labor's Lost, Othello, and Henry V. The final chapter of her life, detailed in posthumously published journals, unveils a tragic end. Her actual suicide involved ingesting barbiturates and swallowing a caustic substance, likely lye or alkali. The acidic effect of the poison led to her immediate demise, causing her body to crash through a decorative glass screen. Discovered in a negligee on her kitchen floor, she lay among the shards of glass on November 26, 1980. Following her demise, she was cremated at the Chapel of the Pines Crematorium in Los Angeles, her ashes, along with those of Jill Bennett, were scattered on the River Thames by Lindsay Anderson. The journey of Rachel Roberts from Shakespearean stages to a tragic end is a poignant exploration of a talented actress whose life took unexpected turns. Rachel Roberts, the first Welsh actress to win a BAFTA for Best British Actress in 1960's Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, had a notable career that spanned theatre and film. Trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, she received the Athene Sailor Award for Comedy. Her educational journey included studies at the University of Wales, Aberystwyth in 1945, and at Rada from 1948 to 1950. Roberts showcased her acting prowess in classic and modern roles at renowned theatres like the Old Vic, Stratford, and the Bristol Old Vic. Notable theatrical performances included Maggie May, Alpha Beta, and John Osborne's The End of Me Old Cigar. In the film industry, she left a lasting impact with Rolls and Anderson's O oh Lucky Man, Lumet's Murder on the Orient Express, and Weir's Picnic at Hanging Rock. Her diverse filmography attests to her ability to excel in various genres. As the recipient of the Athene Sailor Award for Comedy and the first Welsh actress to earn a BAFTA, Rachel Roberts' contributions to the arts were significant. Her journey from the stages of prestigious theaters to the silver screen showcases a talented actress who made a mark in both mediums. In late November, the accomplished actress completed filming A Matter of Honor, adding another project to her extensive filmography. This marked yet another chapter in her career, characterized by diverse roles on both stage and screen. Her second marriage, a civil ceremony held in Genoa, Italy in 1962, garnered attention due to their contrasting political ideologies she dedicated to socialism, he a fervent Tory. The union ended in divorce in 1971, marking a significant personal development for both individuals. She stands as the only actress known for keeping a vivid account of her life until the eve of her death. Published posthumously as No Bells on Sunday, the Rachel Roberts Journals, the biography memoir provides an intimate look into her thoughts during her final years. Interwoven with commentary and interviews from friends and colleagues, the book offers a nuanced understanding of her beyond her on-screen roles. 
married twice, her second union with Rex Harrison, a stark contrast in political ideologies, added complexity to her personal narrative. The dissolution of this marriage in 1971 and her unexpected first marriage to Alan Doby in 1960 marked significant chapters in her personal history. These aspects, detailed in No Bells on Sunday, contribute to a comprehensive understanding of the actress, revealing the intricacies of her relationships and political affiliations. From her early musical roles in productions like Talk of the Night, The Buccaneer, and Oh My Papa, to a Tony Award-nominated performance on Broadway in 1974, she showcased versatility and depth in her career. Trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, her roots in a familial setting with her father serving as a clergyman potentially influenced her character and career choices. Debuting a series in Twelfth Night in 1951 and leaving an indelible mark on the old Vic Company stages in 1954 and 1955, she excelled in Shakespearean classics like Macbeth, Love's Labor's Lost, Othello and Henry V. Her journey from prestigious theaters to the silver screen, with notable film roles in Oh Lucky Man, Murder on the Orient Express, and Picnic at Hanging Rock, showcases a talented actress who left a lasting impression in both mediums. Tragically, her life took an unexpected turn with suicide in late November 1980, detailed in posthumously published journals. The circumstances surrounding her demise, involving barbiturates and a caustic substance, are poignant and revealing. Cremated at the Chapel of the Pines Crematorium in Los Angeles, her ashes were scattered on the River Thames, a final chapter in the life of an actress who navigated the complexities of her personal and professional journey. And that concludes the detailed exploration of the actress.